Here is Eloise McDonald Meyer. She is a student from the University of Tasmania and a part-time developer at which place was it? Take. At Take Flight, and she's going to be talk to, talking to us about Wagtail. And is the microphone, microphone on? is on? Yeah. Big round of applause for <laughs> Eloise McDonald Meyer. Hello everyone. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you about Wagtail. So for those of you that didn't read the abstract and have no idea what you're doing in this room, um, Wagtail is a content management system. Uh, I use it uh, in my kind of everyday job. I'm a part-time web developer, as Tom said, and I'm also still studying uh, computing at my university. Um, so today I wanted to just kind of take you through a few of the pros not as many cons, like I'm hoping more people will be able to just yell out cons if you hate Wagtail <laughs> for me. Um, and might mention a few other Django uh, CMSs as well as maybe just an another CMS. And really excitingly, I, get, I got permission from my work to do a few demos of some of the sites we built in Wagtail. So hopefully you can see some of the really cool stuff that you can do with it. Um, so quick disclaimer, I have only been in web development like literally knew nothing about web development until like April. I did Django Girls workshop uh, last year. I, I attended one. Um, and then for some reason, uh, someone gave me a job, um, which, is, which is great. Uh, I've learned a lot. I unfortunately only part time, so I haven't got to work as much. And I accept that I don't know everything. It would be weird if I did. And so I am learning a lot. Um, so this is. A, quite a beginnerish talk. Sorry for anyone super advanced, um, but yeah, I'm excited to learn more and more as we go on. Um, also, I do use Wagtail in my job. You know, disclaimer: I probably am a bit biased. I really do like Wagtail. It's one of the first content management systems I've been introduced to, and so I don't know. I guess one of your first—it's like your first love, I guess. Um, and yeah, also one of my coworkers is a core contributor. And I'm just going to move my hair out of the way. Uh, so yeah, I don't really benefit that much by you also loving Wagtail, other than we can get more awesome developers kind of helping out the project and also just using it. Um, but yeah, so Wagtail. It's open source, and it's built on Django. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Steve told me not to apologize, but yes, uh, I may have been set up to do that by somebody else who really likes puns. <laughs> you can take a guess who it is. They may or not be in this room. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's open source. I hope a lot of people here like open source projects. I, I kind of expect so. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's built on Django, which is a web framework built in Python. Yay, Python. I hope we all relatively like Python. It's quite young. Um, it's only about um, 19 months old, so it's yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a baby when it comes to things. Um, it was kind of started by a company in England called Torchbox, and they kind of run the show. And now there's some other places around the world like Takeflight and Hobart, and Springload in New Zealand uh, really like it. So I don't know if anyone from Springload is here. Cool if it is. Uh, but yeah, so what it's used for, what we use it for are kind of bespoke websites uh, and yeah, you can use it for a lot of different things. It's good f up to enterprise. Uh, probably not great for just a personal blog. Well, no, that's not true. It's it's fine for a personal blog. It might be a bit like it has a lot of stuff with it. So maybe you could just have a WordPress site if you're not really interested in tech. Um, obviously, it's not really designed for people who don't code. You do need to code. Um, but yeah, it's really flexible. It has a really pretty uh, interface, so it's really nice uh, when you're working with your clients. They can. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's got a really pretty uh, back end uh, for the client. They can they can just log in. It's really easy to use. I'll be showing you some of that later in the demo. Uh, it's it scales really well. And it's pretty, sorry, I seem to write pretty a lot in my notes because that's probably one of the main reasons I like it. Um, it's really easy to navigate for your clients, uh, which is one of the main reasons we use it. And yeah, it has really good test coverage as well. Uh, 
some of its features. Stream fields. Uh, does anyone know what stream fields are? No, cool, because they're a wagtail thing. They're really awesome. So you guys know about rich text areas? Cool. So yeah, stream fields are effectively just like that, but better. Um, so Torchbox, or developers in Torchbox, kind of decided that when they added more and more content to rich text areas, uh, it, was, it often got quite tricky. Um, so stream fields were kind of their elegant solution to that. So basically they're like WYSIWYGs and so as the developer we can decide what content and kind of what order our users can or clients can put that in. Um, so it keeps our designer very happy because she, she has more control over what our clients can <laughs> brutally do to the content they sometimes put on their sites. Um, and yeah, and there's no kind of quirky bugs or compromising solutions when you're dealing with them. Um, it supports Elasticsearch, which is apparently a really hot topic. I did not know that. I recently found out. Uh, I like Elasticsearch mostly. Uh, sometimes it's interesting to deal with. Uh, but yeah, it's got great Elasticsearch integration. Uh, it's got snippets. It's got an image cropper, so it'll nicely format all your images for you when you're putting in content. Uh, it's got a form builder, and it's got a really nice explorer, as I said. It's uh, very pretty. As for cons, biggest con at the moment is obviously that the wagtail logo doesn't look like a wagtail. The tail clearly needs to be longer. Uh, we get told about that a lot <laughs> for some reason. People really care about what wagtails look like. Um, because it's new, it only really supports Django 1.6, 1.7. I don't think that's really an issue, but uh, other people might. Um, but yeah, there, there are a lot more cons out there, but as I said, I'm new and I haven't found them yet. So I'm still looking for them. And yeah, so if you know any, please do come tell me afterwards and tell me how wrong I am. <laughs> um, so when it comes to Wagtail use, you can go to that site if you really want. And it's just got an entire list of all the sites built in Wagtail. Mostly at the moment, there's no super huge big names out there. Uh, it's mostly uh, universities use it the most at the moment. Uh, we've done a lot of work for our local government and uh, touristy places and small businesses in our area. I'm hoping you know some other people will adapt it soon because it really does make things look so much prettier. We've already had really good response from our clients and we're hoping one of our bigger clients will stop using their current content management system and come over to Wagtail soon. Um, but yeah. I, I don't know if I'm really allowed to badmouth the thing that I don't like. <laughs> it's quiz. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I've been sick this week. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there's other Django CMSs out there. Um, actually, if you want to compare them all, I found this site. Uh, you guys probably already know about it, possibly. Uh, it compares pretty much every CMS. There's lots of frameworks and apps, uh, and you can see what they offer. So you can really see if the CMS is right for you uh, in terms of like what you need it for. Uh, bit of a shout out to Django CMS, Bane CMS, and Mezzanine. There's a talk on Mezzanine tomorrow, which I'll be going to to find out more about it. As I said, I'm new. I've never actually used these, uh, but I have heard they're pretty good. Uh, Django CMS seems to be, I guess, if you wanted to put make it a competition, uh, Wagtail's biggest competitor. It's a lot bigger, it's a lot older, so it's been around a long time. Uh, and yeah, so they both support Python 3. They're both really built for flexibility um, and like are built for the developer and content managers. Um, but of course, Django CMS is more widely used, so there are a lot more sites in Django CMS. And it works obviously with more Django versions because it's been around for that long. Um, but yeah, I don't know that much about Fane and Mezzanine, but as I said, go to the Mezzanine talk tomorrow. If you want to know more about it, you can compare Wagtail and Mezzanine. I'm sure there are pros and cons to both. Uh, I think Wagtail is much more friendlier for clients uh, and content managers than for them to use. Um, but yeah, there's also other CMSs like Drupal and other PHP based things and other things I don't like. I would say Drupal's probably 
the only one I could draw too many comparisons with Wagtail, just because they're like Drupal and WordPress, they're built really easily for people who don't code as much, well WordPress definitely, um, whereas Wagtail you really need to code and I couldn't really find other CMSs to compare it to on that level. Uh, one thing that Wagtail doesn't do, and which I don't think it should do, but one thing that Drupal does do really well is APIs out of the box. So Wagtail doesn't do that because it just uses Django apps. So there are already apps out there that help do this, and they're a lot better and a lot better maintained. So I don't think Wagtail needs to do those sorts of things, but some people might see that as a con. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's mostly what I want to talk about Wagtail, because really, most I can express is in a demo. So I'm going to attempt <laughs> to show you some Wagtail sites. And hopefully they will come up. In the meantime, I can show you some of the code. So yeah. As you can see, it's this was a pretty big uh, project we did for the state government. It's now live, uh, it's digital ready. It's just about uh, helping small businesses learn more about the web and how they can utilize it to help uh, grow their market and get better returns. No virtual box, you're not ready. I'm sorry, everyone. It was foolish of me to attempt a live demo on my first talk. Ah, or it's working now. Go computer, you can do it. Please load. Um, but yeah, so Digital Ready is it's got quite a few pages, so it's got its home page. Uh, it also has uh, Eventbrite um, integration and Twitter integration, all things that you can do with Wagtail. <laughs> Sorry. Um, come on, computer, you can do it. So yeah, if anyone does have any spare RAM, please let me know, uh, and I promise I will fix my computer. <laughs> Yeah, so it's homepage. Huh? It is happening. It's just really slow. I'm sorry. It usually works better when I'm at work. I swear. I'd be lying if I said this hadn't happened before. Yay! So it's not as pretty as it normally is uh, because this is just uh, test data in assets. Um, so yeah. So why is this so much bigger? No, that was a mistake. No, it wasn't. Cool. So yeah, so it's got an events page, events page, resources, and contact. Uh, it's got different uh, fields in here. So uh, this is about presentations. This is uh, the Eventbrite integration I was talking about. It's got about things. It's got Twitter things. Um, and yeah, and if we go to, nope, that's not what I wanted. I apparently can't type without it on my screen. <laughs> Just a list from the beginning. <laughs> You're about to see a super secure password. I think it's just. Go on. Really, really secure. Oh, no, damn it. I can never remember if it's admin or P. Obviously, P is a much better username. Yeah. So, yeah, Wagtail. So, 